it is tag team title time, and the challenges are the combination of Kid Romeo and Prime Time. Felix Skipper, let's go for the introduction. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is a tag team match for the HWA Tag Team Titles. Introducing first, representing WCW from Strong Island, New York, Prime Time, and his partner from South Beach, Florida, Kid Romeo! And their opponent. Well, last the team of Kid Romeo and Primetime, the challengers in this instance against the brand new HWA Tag Team Champions. They won the title from more and Courageous and Dayton, and they could be nearly unstoppable. The total of almost 800 pounds of beef on the hook cost for the introduction of the champions. Representing the HWA from the island of Samoa, the HWA Tag Team Champions, OG Ekbo and Kimo, the Island Boy. Champions, Kimo and Ekbo. The, the first title defense against uh, Skipper and Romeo. Skipper and Romeo are going to have to turn it up a notch, Jim, to unseat these guys. Well, I'll tell you less on the surface of it. You would think that uh, Primetime Elix Skipper and Kid Romeo have slim to none, none the chances in this thing, but you got to remember that they are part of the WCW invasion. They have reinforcements that could appear at any point. In addition to that, they're very quick and very agile and very conniving as a tag team. But if they try to match strength for strength and power for power with the Island Boys, they're going to go down and go down quick. You're absolutely right, and you're seeing it here as Romeo tries a collar and elbow lock up with Ekmo. Ekmo shoves him off almost like he's a small child. And in terms of the bearing in their weight of a, probably a, a close to 150 pounds, he is a small child to Ekmo. Well, these guys are, they're just tremendous, but at the same time, for their weight and their size, look at the way they move. OG Ekmo now, he is a, he's a force to be reckoned with here. The Island Boys, so exciting, so powerful. They are the kings of high impact. Wait a minute. Oh, modified bulldog type maneuver there, and Romeo met prime time in a, well, frankly, in a location that was not ready for prime time. No, it certainly wasn't. And in a compromising situation, if you will. Kimo catches a tag. Kimo, the big gun of the Island Boys at four and a quarter. And he moves that four and a quarter around very well. Right now, he's being double teamed. And of course, I think Elix and oh. Romeo are gonna have to double team a lot, Jimmy, to unseat these guys. Well, Primetime and Romeo went for a double clothesline there, but Kimo just ran through it with a double shoulder tackle. Now Kimo firmly in control. The folks here are beginning to chant HWA to show their support of the Island Boys. Romeo, like a rat deserting a sinking ship, made the tag to Primetime. And now Kimo's going to bring him in the hard way. And brought him in about mid-ring with just flipping him over that top rope. Elix Skipper, here's a guy who can go to the air and he goes well. And that's what he's going to need to do here is to stop this Kimo, take him to the mat, and make his own Wait a minute, movement. There was a blind tag. Romeo made the tag. Prime time, not the legal man. Now it's Romeo. Missile drop kick off the top rope. Took the big man down. This could be a turning point. Yes, Romeo was able to drop him with that. Huge missile drop kick, but now he's gonna try and shoot him cross ring, and I think this is mission impossible, Jim. Oh, now, Romeo went to the eyes there, caused Kimo to have to let go of the rope, but Kimo with reversal. Sends Romeo into the corner, boot to the gut now, and Kimo and Ekmo, looking so good since they won the, oh, wait a minute, Prime Time off the top with a spinning kick. And the referee's gotta maintain some order here, but the big man, Kimo is down. These Island Boys won the, the championship at uh, that big inaugural event in Dayton. And folks, as uh, Les said earlier, we return to Dayton at the Montgomery County Fairgrounds Coliseum December 12th. Just to note, the advanced tickets are on sale at Renaissance Music, Smithville Road in Dayton, and at Grips and Tips on Central Avenue in West Carrollton. Look, Look at this now. They're trying to oh, double DDT to the big man. Chemo is down. I thought they were going to try to double suplex him. I said, man. <laughs> you guys are good. You see, I can see the vertebrae in both their backs disintegrating. Wait a minute now, Romeo going to the top again. He needs a frequent flyer card. Kimo catches him, power slam. Prime time. Coming in, there's a cover too. Prime time trying to make the save, hit his own partner. Kimo makes the tag. And we once again, got Ekmo in, and Ekmo is cooking. 
Yes, he is. Ekpo moving all 360 uh, like a lightweight. Super kick to Kid Romeo. Elix throws that big forearm, loops another one in, and he's rocking Ekpo. Can he shut him down? It doesn't appear. Oh, oh man, power bomb. But oh, wait a minute, Romeo off the top. Splash, Romeo is, is the legal man. But he couldn't even make that cover stick for, for a count of one as the referee was out of position. All four men in the ring now. And remember, Romeo and Kimo, I believe, are the legal men. It looks like Romeo stops Ekpo going to top again. Here he goes. Oh, oh Samoan so dropped out of midair. Three count. Well, Ekpo caught Kid Romeo coming off the top of that flying Samoan drop, and he just planted him. Dangerous maneuver with a very dangerous result. The winners, the HWA Tag Team Champions, the Island Boys. Yes, it's true, and of course, it looks like Elix Romeo are gonna have to go back to the drawing boards. But talking about that, we'll be back with a very hot six-man tag team match right after this.